So guys, finally we have access of Tiny 11 and you can say that like Windows 11 for low end system and yeah, it is for low end system. Like if you have 2 GB RAM and some normal processor, then this Tiny 11 is going to work smoothly on your system. And the best part is mostly things which is in Windows 11 are available in this Tiny 11 22H2. Yeah, it is latest version of Windows 11. So this is modified by NTD. So that guy also developed some Tiny 10. He has some great records. So don't worry about any security and malware issues right if you have any doubts you can install it on your virtual machines and uh, just get your hands on it and uh, if you like it then you can install on your main system right and the most important thing if your system doesn't support windows 11 you should install this because it doesn't require tpm so in this video i'm gonna go through the complete process how to install it and where from you can download it okay so you need to visit this link here you can see tiny 11 by entity okay so basically just click on this iso image and it will download this tiny 11 which is around 3 3 GB, right? So whenever you install this on your drive, it will take only 8 GBs to 9 GB or 10 GB, but Windows 11 take 20 GBs, right? So huge difference here. After downloading, you need to download this Rufus software to make the bootable USB. So just download it. Now just open your Rufus software to create the bootable USB and you need to select the ISO which you have downloaded. So just click on select and select the ISO from here and now the best part is partition scheme so in that drive you are going to install this you need to check like it is gpt or mbr so just right click on this windows icon go to disk management so right click on this disk and go to properties here you will see volumes so in volumes you can see partition style gpt so now i'm going to select gpt okay just click here start and after that it is going to create the bootable usb of tiny 11 so now we have created the bootable usb of tiny 11 and you can see all the files are here so now just plug your usb drive to your system press the boot key right so boot key you will get on a screen so just press that now i can see my usb drive so just select it after selection you will get option to install this tiny 11 it is the same process like windows 11 so i'm going to use virtual machine to show you the clear picture right currently i'm recording from my phone so it is not showing clearly so now we have the setup here select the time and currency format language and check this box click here next select the drive and click here next in which drive you want to install okay so i'm going to form over this video because you already know how to install it. So now you can see we have successfully installed this tiny 11 which is exactly look like windows 11 yeah it is windows 11 they just modified the iso now you can see it is taking 9 or 10 gb disk space where windows 11 taking 20 to 25 gbs and the look and feel exactly same like windows 11 and the performance of tiny 11 is very smooth right because it is taking 2.2 gb ram sometimes it takes 1.6 gb so if you have 4 gb or 2 gb ram in your system it will run perfectly if you optimize it and in cpu usage you can see one percent two percent and processes are 128 right this is really cool if you optimize this like you can remove the widgets and the microsoft team and all these things then resources usage will go more lower right and the best part is you are going to get the windows update from microsoft so as you can see i just check for update and i have so many updates here right like cumulative update for windows 11 2 to h2 so no issue at all in personalization you have only one theme because he just modified it some unwanted things are just removed from this you don't have any browser here so just go on microsoft store and install microsoft edge or chrome you can just put it in your pen drive and install it i did not feel like it is tiny 11 it is same like windows 11 so basically this tiny 11 is going to bring some new fresh air for low end system so just go and install it 